because neutrons are slightly heavier than protons and also undergo spontaneous decay, the balance shifted. For every one neutron, there were roughly six or seven protons. This precise neutron to proton ratio, roughly one to seven, was absolutely critical for the subsequent formation of the light elements. If there had been significantly more neutrons, more helium would have formed. If there had been fewer or if neutrons decayed faster, then less helium would have formed. The specific ratio determined the ultimate elemental composition of the universe before stars began to form. The first step in Big Bang nucleosynthesis. The formation of deuterium, the isotope of hydrogen with one proton and one neutron, presented a significant challenge known as the deuterium bottleneck. Deuterium is a relatively fragile nucleus. In the early moments of the universe, even after the neutron to proton ratio froze out, the temperature was still so high that any deuterium that formed would be immediately broken apart by energetic photons. It was like trying to build a sandcastle on a beach being constantly hit by giant waves. The universe needed to cool down sufficiently for deuterium to survive for a long enough period to participate in further nuclear reactions. This deuterium bottleneck effectively delayed the onset of significant nucleosynthesis until the universe was about three minutes old when the temperature had dropped to around one billion degrees Celsius. At this temperature, deuterium nuclei became stable enough to withstand the photon barrage. Once deuterium could survive, the floodgates of nuclear fusion opened rapidly. The reactions proceeded quickly, converting almost all of the available neutrons into helium-4 nuclei. 